Welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic 2 while you guys were gone between episodes. I didn't do any progress, but I did modify the audio. I went into options and lowered down the movie volume as well as the sound effect stuff. I did raise the voice volume so we'll be able to still hear dialogue. But... I wanted to try to lower this so we can get rid of that weird peaking stuff with all of these CG movies. Hopefully we can get rid of that. So let's go back in. And help some Ithorians. Talos suffered greatly during the Jedi Civil War. It surfaced the target of heavy bombardment from the Sith fleet. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Hello, sir. Ah, you have returned. How may I help you? I'd like to speak with your leader. Ah, you are the Jedi. They spoke up. I'll open the doors for you now. He will be pleased to see you. He better be. All right, let's go back and see this leader guy. See back here. Leader guy. Leader guy. Maybe he's in here. Probably this guy right here. Chodo. Gladdens me that you came. I am the leader of the Athorians here. Okay, he's sorry to impose our, their troubles upon us. You sensed my arrival? Are you a Jedi? Yes, I am a priest of my people and adept in the Force. It is a subtle disturbance unless one is actively listening for it. Suspected you were one of the remaining Jedi, I hoped you could help us. Moses said you could heal me. What did he mean? The echo I felt upon your arrival was not a natural thing. It spoke of a great pain of the spirit. It's as if you once felt the force flow through you, then it was torn away brutally and quickly. I once felt the force, yes. And it is slowly returning. Something that the, uh, more recent Disney Star Wars stuff has been doing. Because, like, we had Luke in, uh... The Last Jedi, where he, like, cut himself off from the Force completely. And even a little bit of the Obi-Wan show is showing how he basically hasn't used the Force at all, making sure he stays off the radar, and he pretty much is relearning how to use it. It is not our desire to see any living thing suffering, but the suffering of Talos is all that consumes us. Do you know of the problems our restoration efforts face? Yeah, he told me about the Zerga group. You mean the trouble with Zerga, right? Yes, I am. Alright, so they want to get the restoration project moving forward again so they can heal the planet. Droid Intelligence to Citadel Station that vanished some time ago, so it was probably stolen. Vanished? How? That is not known. It may have been an accident. Perhaps the droid intelligence was overtaxed by the size of the project and became irrational. Some among my herds suspected theft. The droid intelligence of that sophistication would fetch a high price on the black market. Sabotage? But why, or why, or how, is irrelevant. My herd has acquired a second, somewhat lesser droid intelligence to take its place, and it will arrive at Citadel Station shortly. Ah, so we're going to guard this cargo so nobody tries to steal it. Sure. Why not? I'll send word to my people. They will be awaiting your arrival at Bay 2, Dock Module 126. Alright, so we're going back to the dock. Let us be off! But not to see the wizard. Alright. Okay, there's some plants in here. This is not where we're supposed to go. I'm just trying to leave. That's all I'm trying to do. Here's the front desk, I think. Yep! Alright. <laughs> But this human, I could feel his suffering. 
I did not feel it until he stood before us, but then it filled my senses. Have you ever felt such an intensity before? Only once before. The day I came to Telos and strode upon its ashen surface. It is a planet's worth of pain. I do not know how he endures. It is because he has no choice but to endure. I know that feeling all too well. There are a lot of really terrible things someone can go through that you can weather. Because you have to. It is a very unfortunate thing. Because there have been many things that have happened in my life. Some things recent that... Have caused emotional scarring even enough to give me PTSD. Because anxiety and problems like that are not easy to deal with. Where was the exit towards... The docking bay. I think it was that. No, that's the Zerka office. Shuttle bay elevator. Apartment complex. Oh, no, no, no. I have to go back to entertainment place and then there's a an exit there. Because not everybody knows that, you know, a lot of people will talk about anxiety. And it's like, oh, yeah, I have anxiety all the time. I have PTSD all the time. And, well, it's a little bit different when you know what it is. But it's very hard to deal with. I had a situation where I couldn't be near someone that I work with at the job that I technically still have to this day without shaking, hyperventilating, and just reacting to their presence. That's a very difficult thing to go through. But I endured through it for forced and weathered myself through panic attacks, hyperventilating, crying, and who knows what else. Oh, what's this? I'm helping the Authorians, yes. You should consider Zerga's offer. If you return the droid to Executive Thorso, she'll pay you a far better price. No. It has nothing to do with the money. Actually, I do. You're a fool, then. But if you have any doubt, talk to... Okay, you, you guys get out of here. But, you know, I endure these sorts of things... Not because I want to. Because there have been times where I've thought about many things that many people think about these things about whether or not you should keep going at all. And you endure because you have to. And when you have to endure something, you can see just how much you really can weather. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSS all right. investigation. Investigation. Which which area am I looking for? Dock Module 126. And that is probably the most personal life stuff you will ever get from me on the channel. Bay 2 Airlock. Let's look at the map. Let's see if it's labeled on here. Docking Bay 1. I guess we'll just have to look through the docking base to find the right area. That's the Zerka officer. Duros. What goes on here? Talking to me probably in. Alright, so it's not this one. That's owned by Zerka. Let's try this one. Aha! Shoto sent me to help deliver the replacement restoration droid. Please enter. They're waiting for you inside. All right, let's get started. Uh, I'll probably have to go the... Yeah. 
Open bay two door, please. We got a nice shuttle over here. Do we want to use any cheats to do anything to help ourselves before we get this started? Oh, look at this. You can increase alignment, which we're not using because doing those cheats on PC really messes it up. Screenshot mode. What is upgrading? Oh, wow. Look at all these upgrades. That's a lot of stuff. All right. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. You know, this might be the Star Wars media that has said, I have a bad feeling about this the most times. Rot row, Scooby Doo. We got some visitors. Who are you? How did you get in here? Thug. Let's see. I want to. Yeah, target one that's close. I've got... I don't really think force push is going to do much. How about... An ion grenade. Ah, whatever. We'll go ahead and do flurry. It's flurry time! Time to go to flurry land USA. That was pretty easy. That was most terrible. I wonder who could have ordered such a thing. An assassin's tool. Actually, Master, it appears that it has a number of illegal modifications. Interesting. Such modifications are illegal in Citadel Station. Grin should be informed so he could inv conduct an investigation. You must take the droid back to Chota. Okay, and this is where you can choose sides. Yes, I'll get the droid back to the Athorians right away. Because we're doing light side stuff. Item received. Modified holdout blaster. Let's take a look at this thing. Is that something we can equip? Energy 1 to 4. Okay. Actually, I'm curious. What is the damage rating of the lightsaber we have? 2 to 20. Okay. Right, 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 right. Let's go into the terminal and we'll cycle the airlock. Open hallway door. So what we gotta do is get back to the Athorian's little office with this droid. Well, droid intelligence, it's probably like an AI. And we'll probably have at least a, an event or two for people who want to take it. That's a pretty neat background. I'm still terrified by that weird background for stars. It really messes with my eyes when I look at it. But I kind of like this city background. Oh, you can see like a shuttle going, going by. So it's not like completely blank and boring. Okay, I think we went too far. Hold on, through here. Because we want to go back to the residential area. Yep, residential 082 east, and then we can go to residential 082 west. Uh oh. Um, this way, I think. And don't mind the uh oh, I just saw a light flicker in my house. So I'm just hoping that we're not about to lose power or anything. That would be quite unfortunate. Um, west. Yep, on the other side. Let's get moving. 
And this is kind of like a fun bit of KOTOR, because when you get into a side quest, you get to see this little mini story unfold as you're going through each planet. And there's a bunch of little side quest stuff to do as well, because I believe Talos is the planet that you're on where you can, like, in this top area, you can find a guy who bet his girlfriend on uh, gambling, and you can go to the cantina, talk to her, and get and basically win her back for him to get her out of slavery. Okay, so hold on, we just passed where we're going. We're going right here. Do I need to talk to you? No, I'll need to go straight back and talk to the boss. Turn right here. Hold on, let me modify my... stuff here. Carry suit. No, I don't I really don't like that, to be honest. What kind of armor is that? Jalshe. Let's go into the other armor thing for that and see if I can find another one. Create item. Cuz I want to look cool. And to be honest, I would love to have something with a cape on it. That would be that would be super fun. I don't think it's in clothes. Eton's ribbed ripped jacket. That's the only one that's named. See, I think it, I think it was towards the bottom. Jaoshe and this one. Zation Sha armor. It looks like the same thing I just had, except a different color palette. Fine. I'll use this. This is fine. For now. Did I forget to pick it up? Okay, let's go back. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Let's go back. I forgot to pick it up. Oh my goodness. All right. Wow. Wow. Yep, entertainment module. No wonder we didn't run into any enemies on the way back. Can't believe I forgot to pick the dumb thing up. I thought it was automatically added to my inventory. But I clearly did not see a screen that said, Item added. Droid intelligence. Oh, I feel so dumb now. Docs, go straight. <laughs> Playing with my lightsabers. Okay, open bay two door. Is it this? No. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Still, death might I will trust your judgment, Master. It takes me all the way back, doesn't it? I didn't realize the droid was the thing we needed. Alright, my people sent word of what happened at the docks. I am yours to command, Master. Good. Our computer system has been prepared for your arrival. You may begin transferring your data into it immediately. I shall do so now, Master Habak. Farewell. And farewell to you as well. See ya! 
Will you accept this as a gift from my people? I found this blaster on one of the assailants. Not familiar with this sort of thing, perhaps? You should take it to Lieutenant Grin. Thank you. Now what? The incident has not confirmed one of my fears. The gunmen were from the exchange. Yay. Hired thugs working against them. Hmm. What is there to be done? Tried to lead, meet with the leader of the exchange here. He has refused me every invitation and allows no one inside the exchange suite. The Jedi, though, are renowned as warriors and diplomats both. Perhaps you might speak with him. Okay. I'll go speak with him. Infiltrated gl Infiltrator gloves? Okay, let's see what this is. Um, Infiltrator gloves. Let's see. Dexterity plus two. Computer use plus two and security plus four. Ooh, nice. That's cool. And I can level up. So let's see. Attributes. Um, let's see here. Strength is at 14. Agility and reflexes. Health and resiliency. Knowledge and reason adds modifiers to the number of points. Okay, let's increase intelligence. Okay, now for skills, um, persuade is as high as it can go for now. Let's raise demolition by one, just so it can be catching up. Um, no. Let's go with repair. And... computer use and powers let's see what we what can we enhance and is there anything we can get a tier two for in powers not really what are these down here those are dark side power universal power mind trick distress making it easier to sneak by them i don't really need that I guess I'll just get a random thing and not worry about it. Okay. So, we should have journal entries for both. Let's find the TSF facility. Is, is it in this area? I don't think so. Let's exit this place. Let's see. No, it is not. We're going to need to go back, I think. Because we're supposed to go to the exchange for the next part of the story. Let's go ahead and make a save real quick. Just because we had those glitches that happened earlier, just want to play it safe. Exchange core. Let's go back to the Circa office. It should. I do not approve of this alliance we have formed with Chodo Hapat and the Praetorians. Do you? Why is that? Habat has an agenda, and he hopes to tie you into it to use you to his own ends. We need his resources. Whatever help we must give in return is necessary. True. He may be able to help us locate the Ebon Hawk, 
But still, you must be vigilant. Don't worry, it's fine. Calm down. All right, let's go. Maybe I missed out on some influence points with her over th there, but you know what? I don't really care. Until my favorite character joins the party. All these other characters. Why, do I, why am I even talking to you? Okay. So we're going to go down to the TSF headquarters and see if we can do this little side mission for the... That, that him right there? Yes, it is. For the blaster we found. Something I can help you with? Yeah. I have a blaster I'd like you to look at. A blaster? Hmm. I don't see why not. What? Where did you get this? I was ambushed by thugs in a dock module. One of the attackers was carrying this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is no ordinary holdout blaster. It's been outfitted with a number of illegal modifications. You say you found this at the docks. That is disturbing news. Disturbing indeed. But why? When off-world weapons are transported onto Citadel Station, whether they are personal arms or shipments to be resold, they are inspected and licensed by the TSF. This confirms my fear that there is a source of black market weapons and components here on the station. I could use your help getting to the bottom of it. Perhaps I could help you find the source of these goods. A relative stranger as yourself might be useful to the investig- I'll see what I can do. Great. The first thing I would suggest is showing the blast is more than a few. Anyways, good luck. All right. Uh, I might not do that. We'll go do the exchange stuff for now, and we'll think about that. We'll probably be able to come back to this place later anyways. So for now... Let's see. No, not over there. Let's go back to the exchange... Not the cantina. Go run over here, watch the shuttles fly by. Okay. Okay, so we're back here. Let's head this way. I think this is it right here. I'm here representing Chodo. Then how do I set up an appointment? She's usually cantina. And... All right, let's do the right thing and go get, get her in the cantina. And we'll set up this appointment. So, through here. I also kind of like how exploring these planets go. Where it's kind of like, I have no idea where anything is. And now that we've been around it a few times, we're like, alright, Cantina, we're going to have to go over here and here and here. Alright. There we go. So she's the second in command for the exchange here. Where are you? There you are. Hello there. You know, I heard about what happened at the docks. Can we talk for a bit? Go on. I handle vice. You know, spice, gambling, the good things in life. For the local exchange boss, Lopak Slusk. Your exchange? Don't worry, I won't make a move on you. That squid and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. You being one of them. What does this have to do with me? Look, are you really Jedi? I was, but not anymore. Exactly. This exchange bounty has nothing to do with you. But Slusk, my boss, won't listen to me. Still, you seem a very capable sort. Tell me, are you a capable sort? Yeah. Good. I like that in you. So here it is. Talk me with Lopax Lusk, and I'll keep the exchange off your back. 
and find your missing ship. All right. How would this work? I can get you into the exchange suites in residential. Okay, that's a, that's a good start. At the entrance. More than a few of the guards are in my pocket, so there shouldn't be too much resistance inside. When Slut's out of the way, I'll clear up this bounty matter and get your ship back. Deal? It's a deal. Let's speak again, then. Best of luck, Nancy. Okay. So. Did we come in? Yeah, we did come in through here, didn't we? There's multiple entrances to this place. So we're probably going to need to... Let's check the journal, because I'm pretty sure we're just going to head straight for the suite. Yep. Let's head back here and go into that set of areas for the exchange. Sealed module door. That's not where we need to go. That is. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, we need to go this way. He's still out there. Is the door open? Door is not open. Luxa sent me. I hope you know what you're getting into. All right, let's go. Into the Exchange Corporation. All right. I'm terribly sorry, but there must be some sort of mistake. I don't have a record of your appointment. Are you certain it was for today? Of course. Why else would I have been sent? Well, if... Very well. What was your name? Reviews to go. Excuse me. Lopax Lusk's appointment has arrived. Please open the inner door. There you are. Have a good day. You too. I like that lady. Sub guards? Oh, cool. There's like a... Gamorian guard and Gamorian boss. Is this where we're going? Is that the boss right there? I'm not a Jedi. I'm here representing Shodo. Who let this idiot in? Bring me whoever's working the door. Dust this foolish Jedi. With pleasure. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Flurry and let's go. Wow. Dice rolls. Be with me. Oh, these guys are nothing. And one more. Th oh, and Binnock. Ah, he is a, he's a better defense, but not good enough. All right. So let's take a look at our stats real quick. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Did 
There's Gamorian boss. Yes. Have you I have not come with questions. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is where he went. You. I will get you inside. We'll see how strong you are. Whoever let you get back here better be dead or they'll be wishing they were. I'm definitely not nervous because the tornado warning sirens are going off. You handed yourself well getting this far. So, what does he want? To join the exchange? Do you want money? Hmm. Leaving the Authorians alone is probably the correct thing to do for light side points. Slusk. Assume this was your doing. A hand in this. Yes. I should have known. I don't think it's possible that all of us will be leaving this room alive. That's right, and I'm here to finish the job! I'm just gonna turn your do offer down. I got things to do other places. Oh, that's cute. You have a sealed turret. Your sealed, concealed turrets do not scare me. Now that's all wrapped up. I've got to thank you for your help. Look. Hmm. I don't like these options. It's a shame I have to take. Then I guess this is the end. I don't want to hurt you. Slusk's dead, but Godo's still my boss. I'm shipping you to Nar Shaddaa if you don't want to defend oh. yourself. <sighs> All right, I'll defend myself. I guess. <laughs> Wipe you out. Maybe Nar Shada isn't such a good idea after all. Why do you say that? The exchange is one of the most powerful groups on the smuggler's moon. If this Goto wants you so badly, it'd probably be a good idea not to show up on his doorstep, wouldn't you say? Not to mention, I'm sure Lopak Slusk has friends on Nar Shada that won't be happy to hear he's gone. We can't worry about that now. We need to get off this station first. Yeah, you're right. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. Let's see what she had on her person. Pheromone package and exchange negotiator. I think that's a sword. Let's see, we got adrenal strength there. I don't think I've ever used those stat enhancing items in the KOTOR games ever alien blaster hey let's see if you can use this alien blaster we got 325 don't really have anything better so oh well switch back to my character no. There we go. So. Hmm. What to do now? Go back and tell them the exchange will no longer. Binox Blaster. I wonder if that's better. Nope. All right, let's get out of here.
Thank you, Miss Secretary Lady. I'll be going now. Alright, so we'll go here and head back to the Athorians and see what we need to do next. Man, this episode's going well, isn't it? All right, Fred over here, and people are like, will the exchange be bothering us again? Nope, they're all dead. I had uh, the exchange will trouble you no longer. I sense that your meaning did not go peace and. It saddens me greatly that blood was shed. Still, I am again in your debt. Please accept this humble gift. I came... It came from a... Oh, a lightsaber part? What remains to be done? Let's see. The government must be made to see the cancer that Zerka has become. So basically, we probably want to kick Zerka off this station. Their security division is merely an army of badge-bearing thugs. But Zerka has embedded itself within the government, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. How did Zerka embed itself in the first place? Let's see, the corporate mission offered inexpensive resources and affordable security. Okay. Alright, I'll help you. Resident 082 contains a secure mainframe. So it can't be sliced. So we're going to get some files from their computer system. So you said. I'll see what I can do. Lightsaber energy cell fixture. Okay. Well, let's go over to the cantina, find this guy, and we'll keep on a going. This is a lot of fun. I like rediscovering games like this, especially games that I really love. Wow. All right, let's head in here. All right, to the cantina we go. This way. Shouldn't be too far past all of this. Here we go, cantina. And we're going to go ahead and save again, because it's been about 20 minutes since we have. Alright, let's go. Now let's see, where do you think this gentleman is? You think it's this guy? I think it's Twi'lek. It's a gentleman. It's not that guy. It's not a Republic soldier. It's not Mr. Devilhorns over there. There's something I can do for you. Aha! There you are. I want to talk to you about some information I need about Janna and Zerka. What? What do you mean? There's some files I'd like to get my hands on. Files I imagine wouldn't make her look good if they went public. Wait, are you talking about accessing the mainframe? The Zerka mainframe? You're crazy. What are you, some kind of slicer? No, I'm just looking for some dirt. Well, I'm sure there are a dozen sorts of dirt on Lorso in there, but it's a closed system. So how do I get this in? This is a joke, right? You're CSD, aren't you? Loyalty test? Of course not. Look, our goals are compatible. I want dirt, dirt on Zerka. And I want Jenna Lorso looking dirty. Alright, 
Other than Jana Lorso, only B44 has free access to the mainframe. He's a protocol droid, her administrative assistant. If you control B44, you could walk right in. You mean B44 could walk right in? Right, whatever. You could use B44 to get into the mainframe. But how would I get access to B44? Nearly all the Zerka technicians are planet side these days, working the recovery zones we've taken from the Authorians. We've contracted out the maintenance for the office's protocol and utility droids. The guy Chano lives in the apartments in residential 082, unit 2B, I think. Unit 2B, okay. B40. All right, let's go. Oh, and some people leveled up. Auto level up, auto level up. All right, let's go to resident unit 2B. This away. Okay. And as you can see, there's a lot of backtracking here, too. Backtracking happens. But it's fun to get into these little enclosed stories on each world. Okay, so we're gonna need unit 2B, right? Complex B to our left. Don't worry, the guy running around. Don't worry about that guy running around with two two lightsabers. All right, so we're gonna need two B. Can't go in there. B one. Oh, it's you. Do you need a droid repaired? Because if not, I have much work to do. I want your droid technician credentials. My credentials? For what? I need to borrow Zerka's administrative droid. B44, but why? Because I need him to get some files from Zerka's mainframe to expose Zerka's corporation to the Telosian authorities. Oh, I see, I see. That is a good cause, yes. I cannot do that. Why not? Because I can't afford to jeopardize my contract with them. Your contract? But why? Oh, you need money. Credits? For a loan? Hey, I answered all your... Questions. Gambling, that's oof. Let's see here. Sluskin looks at her dead and the exchange is in disarray. While on his own to Goto, the exchange boss on Nar Shada. What if I repaid your loan? Here, 2,500 credits. Awesome. I'll come back later. And I got light side points. How high am I now? We're getting up there. We're almost out of the red. All right, now we just need to go to the Zerka group. Is that in this area or the west side? This area. Okay, should be right up here to the left. Zerka offices. Day. I am B4D4. Oh, just the guy I wanted to see. How may I, help? I need you to come with me. I am sorry, but I cannot accompany you. I may only leave the Zerka offices for maintenance by an authorized Zerka or Zerka contracted droid technician. I have my droid credentials right here. Those are legitimate credentials. Let's go.
Oh, we brought him straight to the Athorians. Alright, here we go. Do you understand the task that has been set before you? Yes, I do. You are caught. We have provided you with the means to wipe your own memory. You must not reveal that we have sent you. Alright. We. Okay, let's go. Back to Zerka. We go. I like this. You get little bits and pieces of c controlling another character that is someone that may or may not actually join your party. So you'd be like, oh yeah, you remember that time where you could control the Zerka Corporation's protocol droid? I'm back! Well, let's see here. There's some mercenaries here. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenaries to go to Dantuin. Can't figure out why anyone would need mercenaries for a planet full of farmers. Oh, I think I know why. Dantooine is where the Jedi Enclave was in KOTOR 1. Where the little council that you meet was. B44. Is there something you need? There's some files that I must access in the mainframe, Mistress Lorso. Oh, why is that? There's some discrepancies with our reported income from the last period. More credits, you say? That's news I wouldn't mind reporting to the sector executive officer. Please, B44, access away. Thank you. I will. It does not concern you, T1N1. I do acknowledge that the mainframe is your responsibility. Don't be hasty. There's no need to call Mistress Lorso. You are programmed to serve her, correct? And your programming similarly inhibits you from harming sentient organic life or allowing such to be harmed without warning, correct? Yeah. Examine the files on the mainframe. You will see that, by aiding Mistress Lorso, you have allowed sentient organic life to be harmed. Yes, you have been programmed to accomplish a task that cannot be accomplished without defying your programming. This is why Oppo regularly wipes your memory, to prevent you from realizing this and developing quirks or going berserk. You have already broken your behavioral inhibitors. You simply have not become aware of it. You may act in whatever manner you choose. No, there is nothing preventing you from entering the main office and indiscriminately firing on Zerka personnel with your stun ray. Yes, I would be obligated to warn them. As such, it would not be prudent to do so unless I was preoccupied and unable to warn them. For example, while downloading the contents of the mainframe. Farewell, T1N1. Please do not abuse my trust and fire on the personnel while I am occupied, thereby creating a diversion that allows me to escape with stolen files. <laughs> T1N1, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to leave the mainframe. I think someone needs a memory wipe. Yeah! Memory wipe this! What the And this Ha 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 So you for er erasing my memory Alright copy all the necessary files to a data pad Erase all data regarding your purchase and association with Zerka 
Yes. Well. Freedom! Ha-ha! Let's go! Meow. Wow. I have returned. With the data pad. Yes, I have transferred them to this data pad. Is it a good idea for just to let them go, Chodo? I don't see why not. It is capable of lying. Droids are not made to lie, so people do not expect it. Imagine the trouble it could cause. I assure you that I will cause no trouble, Master. Okay. I have. I and all my herd thank you. Our work can begin again. Please take these to the TSF station immediately. The restoration project is still in some danger. Citadel station requires another source of fuel, but at least Zerka will be gone. I'm glad I could help. I have heard that this ship you arrived on is missing hidden somewhere on Telos. I know one who could help you find it. The Citadel was developing a shield system. They worked with a Zabrak ex-military engineer. Okay. Where is he? Should be on Telos' surface. I believe he is at one of the currently reservation nodes. RZ0031. How do I get to him? I will allow you to use one of our orbital shuttles. Oh, cool. Must point out that this is illegal. Please be as discreet as possible. Closed shuttles in Bay 2. All right. When you agreed to help us, I promise I would try to heal your connection to the Force. I believe that Telos will thrive much again and that we have had no measure of success had it not been for you. Your wound, I can feel the immensity of your loss. Yeah, I can feel that you are slowly regaining what you lost and you may fully heal. I think that I can help you in recovery at least partially. In healing a planet, it is a matter of connections. I have walked in the growing restoration zones and felt the fullness of life. Perhaps you will find more than you think on the surface. Thank you. Go ahead. There. It is not much, but I feel I have been somewhat successful. So let's see what he does. Oh, he increased our maximum force points. Cool. Thanks, buddy. I'm off. Where's my party at? There we go. I was all by myself. All right, let's save again. And we're going to go see this Zabrak on the surface from the docking bay on the next episode of KOTOR 2. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.